Character designs provided by Demon Arty. Be sure to check her out over on her social media platforms. Links to her Twitter and Instagram are going to be in the description down below. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. Invity PCA. Native 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord. Link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. So we got a second trailer for He-Man. Oh, it's not even called He-Man. Yeah. Masters of the, the Universe, Universe Revelation. Revelation. And um, more action, a little more story. And I've been hearing, oh, it's the Tila show. I knew it all along. And then what I saw... Mm, more I equal. Know. More equal, it's, if it's, anything. It's more equal. We did get some hints that maybe people were right a little bit about He-Man going away. Because yeah. it looks like he comes back. Uh, but from the way that Prince Adam is speaking, speaking. And I do like the fact that Prince Adam goes... No one else is going to die, so people probably die. Yeah. And then he's like, we have to fight. That's it. There's no well, there's no question. And I do like how uh, there was a line where Tila was like, oh, I've been fighting against magic. Now you want me to fight for magic? What's the deal with that? Tila was anti-magic? Um, I think maybe that's her after whatever happened to He-Man and Skeletor. It looks like a battle's going to happen that's going to cause... Like, like, I said the first episode starts with, like, that giant war. Yeah, and it's going to cause, like, a rift. And I'm guessing magic is dying, so now she's, like, against it now. Like, she's upset that it's doing this. But from the narration, without the magic, the planet dies. I know. I So I you have to fight, Tila. Yeah, I know. I don't I don't understand why her, like, grudges, but maybe that's, like, maybe we'll find Meh. out more. I'm angry. Meh. Yeah. I should have said it in my head. Meh. Uh, one thing I did think is interesting that Tila looks like she's banding like the heroes and villains. Because I think something happened where it's like he goes like they said uh, even if you serve Grey Skull or Snake Mountain, we have to fight together because the the world's ending. Well, and that Beast guy was on yeah. our team, which was he was always. A and villain. we saw before, remember we saw Evil Lynn was was oh, in yeah. the pictures. But it just it just I think He Man again. I think He Man is not in the entire show, but I think he's in it enough. I don't think he's only going to be in it for one episode. I don't think that's going to be the case. I thought it was a little weird too. That I because here Tila gets like it, not necessarily put in her place, but she's she's complaining on oh, you know being a hero swallows you whole and then then, then like another that whole like hero like I hate uh, being yeah. a hero anti hero. Then that yeah. then the whoever the black chick is, she's like, well, what's the risk I'm willing to take? Yeah, whatever. I, I know I may not have been a hero as long as you have, but we have to fight for the good. We have to fight for what's right, even if it destroys me. I have to do what is right. Well, and also yeah. the people are dying. Like I yeah. guess, like nothing works. Like, like water, water, water nothing. nature's dying. Yeah. And I also like the fact that when she's at the end, she's talking to him, and he goes, "So do you remember the the, the thing?" The tune. The, the tune. tune. And he goes, "You never forget that." See, that was a nice. And it comeback. ends with He Man saying, "I have the power," and it shows yeah. He Man. So, I think this whole like it's the Tila show. I don't think that's necessarily true. She's going to be given like a bigger spotlight because then she should I, get. I have, I have to find my own path, and I, I bet you it will be a big part of the story. But He Man's the hero, I yes. think, and I think He Man's going to be the one working with everybody who's going to win the day. Yeah, if it was like showing He Man saying, "Well, I'm going to go away for a while," and then he doesn't come. Okay, I get that, but that it was never. I still shown. want. I still want a situation where it's Tila picks up the sword of power and it's hers. Yeah, and that, I don't think that will happen. I, I hope not. Um, there was that one scene where she is fighting He Man, but I'm hoping that's more yeah. like a mental thing. Or like when Luke fought Vader he, on Dagobah. Because we all know if yeah, even if He Man was pulling a tenth of his punches, it would just destroy it. It's destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Tila's just a person. A person. He Man exactly. can pick up mountains. <laughs> yeah, so even holding yeah. back like a little kid like this would crack yeah, be like him fighting nothing. an infant. Yeah, yeah it's enough. Yeah. But his eyes were glowing red, so maybe he's, he's like the corrupted He Man. Yeah. But I think with those those scenes right there, I don't like because it's hard to speculate yeah, because it it's is. completely all out of context. Yeah. I do like Cringer's voice. He mm-hmm. sounded nice. Yeah, cool he like, actually, yeah, he didn't sound like again like the you know cowardly kind of sound. Yeah, like he a actually, regular guy man. Voice. Yeah, I did. Yeah. See, I don't mind him changing that. That was uh, like Mark Hamill's voice. I still don't like it. I just hear hard Mark Hamill. Yeah, I want to hear Skeletor. Or, you know what sucked? He has the laugh. Like that classic, like maniacal laugh from the show, but nothing else is that of Skeletor. No, and it's like um, a, I I thought it was weird that she just has that like Neh, I threw my circular down Neh, I don't want to do this anymore. It, it, well, it, it it's the it's the attitude of like she's tired of being a hero. Too bad. Which, which I feel like is is too bad. That's yeah. the only thing you can say about Tila is not the original Tila is a little bit and but. Long as it's balanced out by other characters, I'm and, not and it okay goes to show it. her that she was wrong to run yes. away. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's the thing. Like, and, oh, it was fine. None well, of that. And garbage. also, I kind of hope it, if she does run away, I hope when Prince Adam does come back, that he kind of shows her like, no, you're wrong. Like, why are you doing this? Like, you almost like almost have Prince Adam feel like bad. That, like, I, you know, you were second and you ran away. 
Like, that's terrible. They did show the sword split. Because with the toys, they that, that could happen. Like, yeah. you can break them in two, and then you have, like, two little half swords. Yeah, the yeah. one, and, one and for Skelter, like, one for He-Man. Yeah. That was the original The original story. Idea. Yeah. Here's the thing. How I know this is, like, a world-ending event. It, the interior, uh, attorney is, like, falling apart. Like, just being... Is there any reason why Adora wouldn't show up? It was whole, it was her fault. That's yeah, why. she's like, "What the heck happened? I didn't get the message." There's no, if it was that bad and He Man disappeared, there's another person that's just as strong as he is, and it, where's she at? And the funny there's, there's going to be some reason why they can't contact her. Well, the, the thing is, the thing is, if Adora did show up, how cool would she look? Like the real Shira, like look like really good. No, it's gonna look like the new. It's gonna be the same animation as the new road, the the new Shira. I know it's all flat. Which, like, it looks completely out of place. I know, what is that? They're looking like, what the heck's wrong with Crimson, her? Why don't they connect it and say that's what happened in the, remember when uh, the first, the uh, she that stopped, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Mar- Mara. Or stopped, yeah, Mara. It's Mara. That's what caused right. everything to go crap. Because they never <laughs> explained the, yeah, I know. The, the story plot holes in the new she are, are so why they're Grand Canyon I'm just glad it's over. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> that's but, right. This is uh, He-Man. So. But is there any yeah. reason why they wouldn't at least try to contact Adora? Unless this if is He-Man disappeared. Unless Does she even before. exist in this universe? Yeah. Well, but why? Well, because it's a continuation of the original series? Well, is yeah, it not? Well, I it, would it, think. It, you would think, unless they're taking it before they met She-Ra, but... It's not. It's afterwards. It's afterwards. I don't know. That doesn't make any I sense. I want my Christmas special, damn it. <laughs> it's just so like they have Christmas on Eternia, yeah, no one can explain that. Shut the hell up, because that, that's why. Yeah. But um, I'm 50-50 on this right now. I, I was like really hopeful from the first trailer. Now I'm kind of like a little bit, but I still think it's going to be good. I'm gonna trust Kevin Smith, and a lot of people are crapping on him, but he does. He's made some good things, some bad, but he's also made he's some good, good, and I think this is gonna be one of his good ones. The only problem is, since it's Netflix, I gotta binge every single episode as soon as it comes well, out every night. We're gonna do one a week. I well, don't care. Well, and also, it's only four episodes, right? Is it only? Four? I have no idea. Oh, I, I, thought I, thought, I thought I thought I thought it was six, but I'm oh, not I sure. Be, I'm not sure. I hope it's more. I hope it's not more than that. But, but um, yeah, I think it's basically like a movie that they cut up. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'm still gonna look. The animation's still fantastic. The action looks super cool. Let's see. Let's let's. I will take 50-50 split. I'm just hoping it's not a, just the analogy of a grown or pretty dress, but hasn't been that really that smart. I hope it's not one of those things. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. it's not. Well, <laughs> it, it could it could be also. I'm just like I said. I don't want any silly you know breaking world thing. Like you said, Tila picks up the sword and she but she says she has the power and she takes over and puts out of like oh, it was you all along. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that that would ruin some, the show. something like that would completely ruin the show. I don't think they'll do that. But I don't. I wouldn't mind her being pivotal to helping Prince Adam regain the He-Man power. And I wouldn't even mind if she goes. Well, she goes on her own journey, and they show stories with her, and then she comes back to Eternia. Like she's like on another part of Eternia fighting the battle. But do you have enough episodes for that? I know. I know. Unless she's, unless she's episodes are hour long. Yeah, that's true. But um, yeah. Um, I I'm still cautiously optimistic. Yeah. I'm like, oh god, it's the Tila show because they showed her for one second. No. Come think, on, guys. guys. We, gotta, we gotta calm down on that, but. <laughs> I like the fact they have like uh, the, the skunk guy. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's funny. They're more the obscure key man villains. Uh, they brought the snake people. They were like trying to try to take over the town. I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, again, there's a lot of quick cuts and a lot of like the cyclops, those other kind of characters. Yeah, those. But um, yeah. but um, yeah, definitely still still looking forward to it. But I'm optimistic, just just cautiously optimistic. Yeah. That's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, you can contact us on any of the social media platforms in the description down below. And while you're here, be sure to click on one of the videos over on the right.